Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Intel wireless AC3168 adapter is not working on your Windows computer. So if you're facing any kind of connectivity issue, or if you see a yellow triangle on your wireless adapter, or if you are receiving these error, that is error code 10, 43, 45, 56, or 39 in device manager. So please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to perform power cycle. So first of all, shut down your computer. Now, once the computer is shut down, now unplug the power cable from your computer for one to two minutes and then turn off your Wi-Fi router and then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router and then connect the power cable back to your computer and then restart your computer and then connect to your network and then check, but still not working. Then the next step is to make sure Wi-Fi is enabled in your system BIOS. So go to your system BIOS. So to go to the system BIOS, first of all, shut down your computer. Now, once you shut down the computer, you have to start the computer. And once you start your computer, immediately you have to keep on tapping your BIOS key. In few computer, BIOS key is F2. It may be F9, F10, F11. For different brands, the BIOS key may differ. So you can Google it. So start your computer and then tap the BIOS key and go to the system BIOS. Now, once the computer is shut down, I will start the computer. And after I start the computer, I will tap F2. In my case, the BIOS key is F2. Now, once in system BIOS, I will find the wireless option. So in my case, it's in connection. Now over here, you can see WLAN, these fields allow enabling or disabling of internal WLAN device. So wireless device, I will go ahead and enable it. So make sure the Wi-Fi is enabled in your system BIOS, then apply the changes. Click on OK. And then restart your computer. Now you can check, but still not working. The next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy this command, type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Always open command prompt as an administrator. Make sure that you run this as an administrator then paste the command, hit the enter key. Now run the second command, paste it, hit the enter key, run the third come paste it hit the enter key now run the next command hit the enter key now once you run all these commands now restart your computer restart is a must after this restart your computer and then you can connect to your network and then check Next step is to disable or enable the network adapter. Now for this, make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager and then expand network adapters. Now over here, select your Wi-Fi adapter. So it may be different network card. In my case, it's Intel. It may be Realtek. It may be any other network adapter. So select your network adapter, whichever is your network adapter, make a right click and then click on disable device. Click on yes. And once this is done, now again, make a right click and then click on enable device. Now, once this is done, now you can try to connect to your network. Connect to your network and then check. Still not working. Start WLAN auto config service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box, and then click on services. Now in the list, find WLAN auto config. So here you can see WLAN auto config, make a double click, set the startup type to automatic and then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. If you see start highlighted, click on start and then click on OK. Again with WLAN auto config selected, make a right click and then click on restart and then you can connect to your network and then check. Now, the next step is to perform network reset. Now, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password.
password because after the ne network reset it will be asking for your wi-fi wi password to perform network reset open windows settings go to network and internet if you have windows 10 scroll down and then you will see network reset option in windows 10 just go to network and internet scroll down and then you will find it in windows 11 click on advanced network settings and then you will see network reset option click on it now click on reset now and then click on yes and during the net network reset your system will restart so click on yes I, i'm not restarting but you can click on yes and then after the system restart you can connect to your network it will be asking for your password enter the password and then connect now the next step is to reinstall network driver now for this make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager once again expand network adapter select your network adapter and then make a right click and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall I am not uninstalling but you go ahead and click on uninstall. Now once the uninstall is complete then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. Restart your computer and during the system restart it will reinstall your network adapter. So after the system restart you can go to your Wi-Fi icon on the bottom and then you can connect to your network and then check. Next step is to install wireless driver from your your wi-fi driver from system manufacturer website you are not connected to the internet so you cannot go online on your computer so you can use ethernet cable so if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable you can use ethernet cable to get a wired connection so my computer has an ethernet port so i will connect this ethernet cable to my computer Now, if your computer does not have an Ethernet port and if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port, in that case, you can use another computer. So use another computer which has the Internet access and then you can download the wireless driver to the USB flash drive or hard drive. Now, if you have an Ethernet cable and Ethernet connection, you can go to the website, go, no, go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website and then find your network drivers. Select your model number and go to your system manufacturer website and then you have to find the network driver. So select the right operating system and then and I'm showing for Dell. This is just an example. Now, once you find your Wi-Fi driver, it may be any driver, whichever is your adapter, you will find the wireless driver in the list and then you can download it and install it. And if your computer, if you're doing this on another computer, in that case, you can download the driver. Yes. For example, I'm downloading this. Once the download is complete, you can just copy this folder and then you can transfer it to your flash drive or external hard drive. So go to the download location and then you can copy this driver. You can copy it and then you can transfer it to your hard drive or external flash drive. And once you have the driver in your flash drive or hard drive, now you can connect this USB flash drive and then you can attach it to the computer which has the problem and then you can make a double click and you can install this driver on your computer and then check now the next step is to update the system bios again for to update the system bios you have to use ethernet cable so if you can get a ethernet connection you can just go for ethernet connection and then you can go to system manufacturer website once again and find the bios and then if you have the ethernet access ethernet connection then you can download it and then you can update your system bios but in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer and during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then you can connect to the network now in case if you cannot get an ethernet connection in that case you can download the BIOS the same way we have downloaded the 
network adapter, network driver. Same way, you have to download the BIOS file from another computer and then you can transfer it to external flash drive or hard drive and then you can connect it to the faulty computer and then you can install it. Now, the last step is to reset your computer. So if nothing is working, you can simply reset your computer to reset your computer. But when you reset your computer, this will result in data loss. So you will lose all your data, application and settings. So create a backup and then go for reset. So to reset, go to settings and then go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then go to Advanced option and then go to Recovery and then you will see the reset option. So click on Reset PC and if you want to keep your files, it will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. If you go for Remove Everything, it will, it will remove all your personal files, application and settings. So you can select the option which you want. I will select Keep My Files and then you can go for local reinstall, follow the on-screen instruction and then reset your computer and then you have to set up your computer once again and then you can connect to your Wi-Fi. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you uh, to get your Wi-Fi working with this adapter. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.